Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to help your parents fix their smartphone issues from anywhere on the planet. Obviously, this isn't just for helping your parents, but really it should be an awesome tool if you're the tech support person in your family or circle of friends. So let me start by saying this is all done with TeamViewer, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. If not, TeamViewer is a remote desktop client that allows you to control a PC from anywhere, provided it's connected to the internet. But the app we'll be using today is not just the regular TeamViewer app, it's called TeamViewer Quick Support, and it basically brings all of the awesome PC features over to Android devices. There's also a version for iOS devices, but it's a lot more limited than this one. Even still, if you're trying to troubleshoot an iPhone or iPad, this is a very useful app nonetheless. But in order to make this work to where you can control a smartphone or tablet remotely, TeamViewer Quick Support will have to be installed on the target device. This means mom, dad, or grandma are actually going to have to install the app themselves. Or at least it's something you can do real quick when you're in town visiting. So let's pretend this device in front of me is actually my mom's phone. Either I did this preemptively when I had a chance, or she did it with a little guidance from me. But the TeamViewer Quick Support app is installed on her phone. Beyond that, just open the app, and on supported devices, it'll offer a chance to install a plugin. This is where Android devices differentiate themselves from their iOS counterparts. If you install this plugin, you'll be able to actually see and control the device's screen from the TeamViewer desktop program. But the plugin is not available for all Android devices. Samsung, LG, ZTE, and a few others are eligible. But devices that don't have the plugin available to them can still use the full remote access features if they're rooted. Non-rooted devices that aren't supported by this plugin, as well as iPhones and iPads, can still be controlled to some extent. Instead of the full screen mirroring interface, you'll get a control panel of sorts that allows you to adjust settings and even uninstall a few apps or transfer files. But with the Quick Support app and optionally the plugin installed, the target device is all set up and ready to go. You'll just need to write down the ID number that the app gives you, or alternatively, have the device's owner shoot it to you over SMS with this Send My ID button. Then from here out, anytime you want to access this device, you'll be able to do so from your computer. So let's head over there and check out the setup process. Alright, so first up, head to TeamViewer.com to download the software for the tech support side of things. Right near the top of the page, go ahead and click the download button to get started. As it notes, this software is free for private use, which is one of the main reasons that TeamViewer has become the go-to remote access tool these days. But once you've got the installer file downloaded, go ahead and launch it. For our purposes today, you can leave the install settings at their default values, but make sure personal slash non-commercial use is selected if that's how you're using it and you don't want to pay for a subscription. After that, just let the installer do its thing, then when it's finished, TeamViewer should automatically launch. Go ahead and close out of this overview window, then from the main screen here, type in the target device's ID number and click the connect button. Here's where things may get a little tricky. The person on the other side will need to open their TeamViewer app and allow you to connect. So maybe call them on a different phone to walk them through this part. But basically all they have to do is tap allow on the pop-up that they'll see. With that done, you'll be taken to the dashboard view. This lets you do things like view RAM usage and system logs for the target device, and you can even uninstall a troublesome app among other things. Basically it's the same view you'll see with an iPhone or a non-rooted Android device that's not supported by the plugin. But if you installed the plugin on their phone, or if their device is rooted, you can click this remote control button at the top of the screen. On the other end, they'll have to tap allow on one more pop-up. But once they do, you'll see their screen. At this point, you can use your mouse and keyboard to control their phone from miles away as if you had it in your hand. So Android tech support just got a whole lot easier. And I personally couldn't be happier since I'm the lone electronics guy in my family. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below this video. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.